tonight he enters the ring with an undefeated record. Four fights, four wins. Please welcome Paul Mekelhini. We go across the ring to his opponent in the blue corner wearing his solid red trunks. He fights out of Limerick in Ireland and weighs in at eight stone, 10 pounds and eight ounces. He now enters the ring with an undefeated seven five records, seven wins. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Willie Big Bang Casey. This is three three minute rounds of boxing. Boxes please. All right, gents, you know what you've got to do. I tell you to break, you break quickly, you break cleanly. Apart from that, you protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, gents. The twists and turns of this night. The 32 grand check, the prize fighter trophy awaits. Can the final top the lot in what's been, Jim, a compelling night? Yep, I can't remember a better prize fighter. It's been tremendous. One great battle after the other. Hopefully, the, the fighting will live up to this. Straight on the attack, as we thought he would be, Willie Casey. Hardened by the first couple of victories here. Body shot straight into Paul McElhinney, who's unbeaten in four. Hasn't showed much power yet in his fledgling career. Can he hold Casey off him? Well, we know Casey, he's not a tactics man, he only does business the one way, and that's how he set out again here for the final, just marching forward, letting the punches go. Under normal circumstances, he would be a heavy favourite in this one, but the fact that he's had two real tough battles against a fresh Paul McElhinney who has the box tonight, you wonder, well, that be the difference, just the, the fitness and strength and what he has left in the tank. The second time in a row that a wild card is in the final. Nick Akoff came in at the semi-final stage last time. It was beaten by John Lewis Dickinson in the cruiserweights. Throwing combinations out. The Scotsman. Showing a little bit of grit, Michael Henry standing his ground. Not going on the back foot, not circling the ropes, so he wants it as much as all the other entrants. You're targeting the body. Yeah, good effort so far. But remember, he hasn't had anything else to do tonight, apart from sit and wait. Casey has been thrashing away. You, know, you have to wonder, is it in the spirit of the tournament to be prize fighter uh, champion after one fight? That just doesn't quite seem right if it happens. It hasn't happened yet, but if it did, but Michael Henney boxing quite nicely in the opening round here. We're getting the jab going. We don't know too much about him. And I doubt Willie Casey does either. Cuffing a bit with the right hand from the southpaw stance. Casey, the that left. Straight through. Just powerfully built, isn't he, Willie Casey? Not really finding the target here on the opening round yet. Michael Henney, he's been... He's been quick, he's been shifty. Close opening round. Michael Henney put out a lot of work. Not top quality stuff. Maybe just nicking this with the clean of boxing. Throwing the punches, but is he strong enough to prevail? McElhenney. Please, please, please. Keep it out. He's a lot going to water, mate. Keep it out. Okay. Come on. Please. Double the jab. Double the nice jab. Nice nice start pushing him back. Start pushing him back, okay? Right, stay on. Please, football. Chris McAdam and Benny King. Well, as usual, Casey marching forward, but not really effective aggression in the opening round. Did get through with a few punches. 
McElhinney did lose his composure once or twice. Please, Close please, round, please, but I thought McElhinney just did a little please, bit more. Lead off your jab. Lead off your jab. Mm. Right. Feeling good? Yeah. Right, that's good. More shots, more yeah. shots. Yeah. Right. More speed. Right. Right. Come on. Right. Right. What a character. Right. One of 22 siblings. Father of four. The 28 year old Willie Casey now in his eighth professional outing. He only turned pro in October 2008. And on the march, Paul McElhenney. Only a pro since February of last year. And this is big opportunity, golden really. Casey has to make it a little bit hotter for McElhenney than he did in the opening round. Has to set the tempo a little bit more. I think he's maybe trying to do that. That's better from him. Certainly did in his quarter final against Mark Moran. And then Josh Whale. He's had a tough draw. Willie Casey. This should be the easiest fight on paper. But it's not like that in a night where all this happens. No, and the fact obviously Michael Henney hasn't been in action tonight, but uh, more effective work from Casey in the second round here. He's finding the target. Taking some of the smoothness of Michael Henney's boxing. Looking at the jab as it comes out. Good shot from Casey. This is better in the second round from Casey. Imposing himself on Michael Henney. A good left hand. Yep, he had to raise the tempo and he's doing that. Powerful shots from the man who calls himself Big Bang. Michael Henney not looking as comfortable here in the second round. Trying to stand his ground. Good defence from Casey. Just will not be denied. Blood to the nose of Michael Henney. He's looking more like the raw novice in there. Will he fall apart against this hardened looking Irishman? Just a problem with a bit of tape on the boot. Of Paul McElhinney, the 21 year old. McElhinney may be struggling with his breathing because of the nosebleed. The case really imposing himself in the second round here. He needed to for just a little bit more, and that's what he's doing. Looks like it's getting tough for McElhinney. Brave, firing back, showing guts. But is he walking into the furnace of Willie Casey? Yep, his boxing's looking a little bit ragged in the second round, McElhinney. This is not the way he normally boxes, but he's been drawn into it. Tactics working. Casey in the second round here. To get one back, Michael Henny, but accuracy clean. Hard shots from Casey. I think you're right about that nose. I think that's giving him terrible trouble breathing. Breathing with his mouth open. But now Michael Henny has been shown what it's like to be in deep because he's in deep in this round, coping with it well. The good round for Casey. Come on, you need to the pace. You let him back Come on, you let him back in. Come on, you can win this. Come on, breathe now, get your breath. Number three minutes for victory, Paul. Remember, you're on a fight when you're in the lines then. Come on, let's stay here. OK? Get your breath. Get your breath, all right? You can pose your strength. Three jabs, straight left hand, and then go after him again, right? Yeah. You're hoarding him, Willie. Oh. Start, this is your last round. You want to be oh, the champion. Answer, yeah. This is your last oh. round, yeah. right? But don't be silly. Oh. Yeah. Right, break him down, walk two with your hands nice and high. Oh, See if that jab leaves him, right? Yeah. See if that jab so leaves him, you the bang that left hand, hand, right? And then three and four after yeah. that. Feeling good? Yeah. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Come on, guys, come on. Okay. Last round, Willie. Win this round. Oh, come on. Oh, you can oh, win this. Oh, you want to win you go and do it. Come on. Is the confidence just beginning to drain out of Paul McElhinney? Both of these fighters are unbeaten. And how... Does this dramatic evening at York or Bethnal Green end? It started with Willie Casey upsetting Mark Moran in this, the third round. And he's 10 to 1 on to make the Good shot to Michael Adam. Yeah, just to walk out on the right hand there. Stiffen the legs. Oh but taking it, no lasting effect, walking through it. 